Welcome. My name is Maya Liskovets, and today I will talk about fast chromatography of adeno-associated virus. Our focus is already for more than 20 years chromatography of large biologics. BS Separations is the only provider of monolith columns. In our broad portfolio are preparative devices and also analytical columns. Since beginning of this summer, as well a dedicated HPLC system for process control. We are part of Sartorius since November 2020, thus providing whole bioprocess solutions to the market. Beside columns, we offer to our clients also services, or as it's stated on our web page, the right chromatography tools for the right tasks and the skills to use them. Our knowledgeable scientists that are focusing to purification and analytics of big molecules, gene therapy market, vaccine market, or in other words, viral vectors and pDNA, mRNA, and all other modalities of big size are available as technical support or services to our clients 24-7. One of such projects services we offered to company Avexis, now Novartis Gene Therapy, where we helped to co-develop purification procedure for AEV gene therapy, now known as Zolgensma. I would like to say, as Andy mentioned, that we understand clients, patients, and medicals' urgency to develop treatments to help with devastating conditions. The essence of our unique chromatographic approach is monolithic column, which offers with its structure a convective mass transport without diffusion. This means that all functional groups are instantly accessible to large biomolecules, resulting in high capacities and flow-independent resolution. Laminar flow inside column is practically shearless, which results in high yields of sensitive molecules. Preparative columns are pre-packed and ready to use. Disposable housing is epoxy composite, reinforced with carbon fibers and coated with parilen, which offers disposable, single-use approach or multi-use approach. You can choose your preferred one. In our catalog, you can find columns from 0.1 milliliter to 8 liters to fulfill all your needs from small-scale experiments to production runs at scale. Now, let's take a look at downstream processing and how we perform it at via separation Sartorius. Adeno-associated virus is one of the most used vectors in gene therapy. Based on all preclinical research, number of therapeutics in clinical phase 1, and the overall success of Vector, it will become even more important that we find and provide all necessary tools for industrial scale production. A lot has already been done and much more needs to be improved. Today we focus on downstream part of AAV process. Downstream starts with collection of supernatant or lysis of cell culture in bioreactor. Upstream can currently deliver titers in the order of magnitude e to the power of 11 vector genome per milliliter, and in lysate AAV still represents only small amount of all species. Still, host cell proteins, host cell DNA, chromatin, aggregate complexes, media components, plasmids, transfection reagents, and other impurities represent majority of sample. This leads us to first very important step of downstream reduction of chromatin, host cell DNA, and host cell proteins. This can be achieved with one or a combination of different options, among them OH chromatography, flocculation, tangential flow filtration, solid phase extraction. Important is also nuclease treatment. In this presentation, I will show in further on slides example of combination of TFF with nucleus treatment. Filtration step and then chromatographic capture step follows. Capture is usually done with cation exchanger, Tim Multus SO3. B 
before second chromatography, polishing step, a dilution or UFDF is performed. And of course, at the end, formulation, final filtration and filling. If we go with combination of TFF and nuclease treatment, it is good if we select salt-tolerant enzyme with three reasons. Conditions with higher salt are beneficial for serotypes that are more prone to aggregation, for example AEV2. Secondly, salt enables decomplexation of host cell DNA and histones and enables better efficiency of DNA treatment. And third, seamless transition to SO3 capture since higher salt improved performance of CEX capture. TFF can be performed on flat sheet or whole fiber. It is good that we use the biggest cutoff that still retains virus. This is different from provider to provider, so we usually test 100 and 300 kilodalton cutoff for AAV. As demonstrated in this SDS page, Besides chromatin and DNA, also a lot of small proteins are removed during this step. Capture step on Simultus SO3 is the heart of AAV purification. And as it is shown on this SDS page, what is left in elution are mainly full and empty AAV particles. AAV is concentrated from initial to target levels, which is around e to the power of 13 vector genome per ml. Because this is not affinity purification, but an exchange, it works for all serotypes, even chimeras and hybrids. All previously described benefits of monolith column come to the fore in this step. High flow rate, high binding capacity, resolution, cleanability with one molar sodium hydroxide. In this slide, I wanted to show a few chromatograms of SO3 capture. Note the upper chromatogram, where no special pretreatment was performed. Harvest was just acidified, filtered and loaded to column. There is AEV in the linear gradient, as expected, and very high CIP peak at the end of the method. In the CIP peak are all contaminants that are more tightly bound to column than AEV. These components are also reducing capacity of column and are leaching in elution, making AEV less pure. Aim of pretreatments is to reduce CIP peak, improve capacity and purity in SO3 step. There are three representative chromatograms below. Left, we have AEV8 with TFF nuclease pretreatment. In the middle, AEV2 with the same pretreatment and on the right side, AEV9 with OH column pretreatment. These methods were all performed as linear gradient, but the step gradient in industrial setting is also possible without any issue. Now, if we move to polishing step, QA column is one of the most described for separation of empty and full AAV. It is also a subject of several patents. It works for any serotype, but the enrichment of fulls is dependent on serotype, on expression system, probably also on amount of partial fulls, glycosylation and phosphorylation of capsids. In general, we see around one log reduction of empty capsids in this step. At BIA separation, Sartorius are always looking of ways to improve separation of empty and full, and one of the ways is also exploring new ligands. Prima S is a weak anion exchanger and elution is performed in the pH gradient mode. The third option, now still as beta product, is Prima T, which is a multimodal column and has a big potential in separating empties and fulls. Now we've seen process up to polishing step, but this is not the whole part of purification. As important as downstream development is also analytics, and in our labs different methods are utilized for this purpose, like DDPCR, ELISA, SDS page, total protein, total DNA measurements, and others. 
One of the methods that plays important part is HPLC. In this slide, it is shown method using CIMAC SO3 for total analysis of AEV. Multiple detectors, UV, fluorescence, and MILES provide enormous amount of details about sample from protein, DNA impurities to AEV concentration, which can be measured already in harvest and tracked throughout the downstream as an in-process control. Even for empty full analysis, an HPLC method is utilized, and it gives results in 10 minutes. At this point, I would again emphasize that using orthogonal methods, especially for main fractions, is important to improve real reliability of results. For the end, let me just give you a few words on new analytical technique that we developed and to use as orthogonal tool for empty full analytics. We know that with HPLC, we separate on basis of charge. And in this case, we are using density gradient. So separation on basis of density of particles. After ultra centrifuge spinning, we pump sample through the same detectors as we use for HPLC, UV, fluorescence, and MALS, and analyze peak from detectors. This, this gives us unique additional information about the sample. Did my presentation give some answers or just post new questions? Me and my colleagues would be happy to answer them. Please visit our web page or use email for contact. I would like to thank you for your attention as well as my colleagues for their great work and enthusiasm. Special thank also to our partners and clients with whom we share the desire to bring best downstream and best quality products to the market. Thank you.